Hello everyone, this is Jordan Ostroll from UC Workspace and welcome to another video. In this video I will discuss how to configure displays within Quick Launch to be optimal for dual display setup. To begin, enter Quick Launch settings by clicking Ctrl Alt S or by clicking the gear icon in Quick Launch. After entering Quick Launch settings, move to the display group followed by the full screen tab. We will start off by clicking the add screen icon which will add a second screen to Quick Launch. You will then click Identify Screens on the right hand side of Quick Launch so you know which screen is which. You will then want to set the screen ID to the proper number for both displays. For my example, I will be using screens 2 and 4. My screen 4 is a Logitech tap which is typically used on the conference room table to control the meeting room. I will change the layout to tabbed which is optimal for smaller touch enabled devices. I will then change the behavior to fixed so that Quick Launch will remain full screen on my Logitech tap. The visibility radio buttons are important because they allow you to enable or disable tabbed mode exclusive options. The left navigation bar will enable or disable quick launch groups, which allow you to select exactly which tabs you want to display. The right status bar will adjust what icons are shown on the right side of the interface. These options allow for things like room reset, AV icons, and system monitoring. The windows buttons affect what options are available under the windows group found in the left navigation bar. These buttons include Maximize, Restore, and Bring to Front. The next important setting I will adjust is the option for the virtual keyboard. I will enable the tablet keyboard and leave the virtual touchpad enabled. This will make it easier for me to enter information with the on-screen keyboard and move the mouse with the on-screen virtual touchpad. I will leave the layer set to Always on Top and ensure the other virtual keyboard option is also set to Tablet Keyboard. For screen 2, this is my large display at the front of the conference room. I will leave the layout mode as flat. I will then set the behavior to dynamic so Quick Launch will go to dock mode when applications are opened through Quick Launch. I will then adjust the layering to always on bottom so applications and websites can freely load over top of Quick Launch. I will then change the virtual keyboard to show the Windows keyboard which allows for a full on-screen keyboard to be displayed on the larger monitor. I will now move on to the dock tab. I will first change the dock on screen option to be the large display at the front of the conference room, which in my case is screen 2. Doing this will ensure that when Quick Launch changes into dock mode, the dock bar will only appear on screen 2. Changing the app bar state will adjust where on screen the dock bar can be found and if the dock bar will be pinned or hiding. We will now move back to the general tab. We will enter the room name which will be shown on the main screen. The radio buttons along the left side allow you to disable the icons in the upper right of the Quick Launch interface. This could prevent accidental closure of Quick Launch or entering design mode by accident. The suppression of error messages will ensure that no warnings will be directly displayed onto your Quick Launch interface, but the errors will still be logged in the event log of your PC. We hope you enjoyed our video on dual screen configuration within Quick Launch. If you are looking to set up Quick Launch on a single screen, click the video on screen at the end of this video. Be sure to visit our website at www.ucworkspace.com and follow us on Twitter and LinkedIn at UC Workspace to always stay up to date with Quick Launch news and updates. Goodbye.